all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and Liveware application and in this video we'll be working on deleting this particular appointments and here we'll be using sweet dollar so let's get started so first of all let me go to main layout scroll app dot plane dot php and let's start first by installing sweet alert on our project so to do this let me go to the end and over here let's paste it the CDL link and we are done with installing sweet alert so now let's try this if it is installed so let's create a script tag and inside the script tag let's do this one okay so if we refresh the page and it is working perfect so we don't need this okay so now when someone click on this delete icon over here so let's do that one so for this let me go to list appointments and over here when someone click on that particular icon uh, then we'll prevent the default action and we will call the method call let's say delete not delete let's say confirm appointment removal right and we'll be passing particular appointment appointment id okay so we haven't created this method so let's go to list appointments component class and over here let's create that method call confirm appointment removal and we will uh, and we'll be receiving the appointment id right and let's die and dom this appointment id and press the page and click on delete and it is working perfect so now let's create a public property called appointment id being remote by default let's say null and let's assign this appointment id to appointment id being remote okay so now we need to dispatch the event so let's do that so let's do this dispatch browser event and let's say so delete confirmation okay we are dispatching the browser event so we need to listen for that event so let's go to list appointments so let's go to sorry app.blade.psp and then over here let's do window.add event listeners and the never the event is so delete confirmation click passing the event and then let's do a lot here and is if everything is okay then we'll receive it we'll see this alert okay perfect so instead of displaying that particular alert we'll be displaying the beautiful confirmation dialog like this one right so let's grab the code from here we copy it and then let's paste it over here let's indent it perfect so now we need to see this particular confirmation so 
refresh the page and if I click over here and it is saying yeah perfect everything is working but we are not actually deleting that data so so now let's delete that data okay so to delete that we need to dispatch the event from the browser back to the component okay over here okay now let's dispatch the event from the browsers back to the component so to do that we need to do live where and then emit the event called let's say delete confirmed okay so now we can listen to this event uh, from our component class so to do that we need to define a protected property called listeners and it will be an array with key and value and the key will be the event name it is delete confirmed and the value is the method that we will be going to call let's say delete appointment okay so let's clear this method and let's say die and dump here and if everything is okay we need to see that message if i click delete click on yes and everything is fine so now the thing is to remove that particular appointment right so let's say appointment appointment equals appointment find or fail this appointment id being removed because we have already stored that while confirming appointment removal right so now we can simply do appointment and then delete okay i think we have already imported the name spacing so let me refresh the page and see if it is removed click on delete click on s and it is delete but we don't see that message called deleted right so to do that let's fire and dispatch the browser event let's do this dispatch browser event called let's say deleted right deleted and we can listen to this event from our javascript so let's do over here we can do window dot add event listeners let me just copy from here right and we will be listening for the deleted event and when something is deleted we'll be swing that particular message so to do that let me copy this from here and then we don't need to hide anything right so let's do paste it indent it yep so if everything is okay then we should see that message click on s and it is deleted also the data is also deleted but you notice that the message is different the file is deleted we don't want this to be static so let's make this dynamic using let's say event event and then we need to do detail dot message right perfect so we need to pass that message from our component class so to pass let's do let's pass it from here the message let's say appointment deleted successfully perfect so now if I refresh the page and click on delete click on s and the item is also deleted and we receive that particular message called appointment deleted successfully perfect so 
I hope you like this so this was for this video but before ending let's do some refactoring so instead of writing everything on our main layers file let's create component okay so let me copy everything related to speed alert and then got it and let's create a component which is inside of resources views components let's give it a name let's say confirmation alert that blade dot PSP right and over here and let me paste everything and we can push this to the JavaScript stack right push this push everything to JavaScript stack and push perfect so simply we can include this uh, use this component inside our list appointments that blade PSP file so to do that I think we don't need this so let me remove it yep and we can do X and the name of the component is confirmation lot okay now let me refresh the page and see if everything is fine click on delete yeah we see that particular message a lot yeah and if I delete and it is deleted perfect so if we don't use this one and we will not receive yeah it is not working so component we successfully refactored that code as well so this much for this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and I will see you in the next video